You see this in a lot of the history of technology where <laughs> someone makes an empirical discovery. They have no idea what's going on, but it clearly works. And then as the scientific understanding deepens, they can make it so much better. Yeah, no, that ha in physics, biology, yeah. it's sometimes just messing around and it's like, whoa, what, well, how, how does this actually uh, uh, come together? In, in our case, we had, you know, someone that was the guy that built GPT-1 uh, sort of did it off by himself and saw this and it was somewhat impressive. And, but, you know, no deep understanding of how it worked or why it worked. And, and then it was, we got these scaling laws where we could predict how much better it was going to be. That was why when we told you we could do that demo, we were pretty confident <laughs> it was going to work. We hadn't trained the model, but we were pretty confident. And that has led us to a bunch of attempts and better and better scientific understanding of what's going on. But it really came from a place of empirical 